Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be answering the most frequently asked question uh, regarding MOQ. So we don't actually have an MOQ with our new platform, uh, it's all based on the supplier. So what you're going to have to do, the first thing you need to do is head over to our marketplace and go into the um, product that you actually want to view. If it's not here, you can obviously go submit a sourcing request and we will add it to the marketplace or your private product. That's in um, another video which you can find on our YouTube channel. I'll uh, tag it here somewhere. Um, so say for example, this is your, this is your product. Um, all you have to do is go in and check the wholesale quantity. So you can see the minimum you can order is, is two units. Um, and these are the pricing brackets between each, but I'm not going to go into that. We're just talking about MOQ for the moment. <clears throat> so in this case, say for example, you had a single order for this product, you won't be able to place an order because you don't meet two. What you could do, an option would be to wait until you receive a second order. If you're averaging, you know, one a day, then you can wait for the, the next sale. So you have a total of two orders. Then you can go to your manage orders, select those two orders and place the order. That's one way of doing it. So that's one. When I say we don't really have an MOQ, it's because you can um, let your orders accumulate over a certain period of time and then place the order then. But obviously, bear in mind, in doing so, uh, you know, say for example, if we check, if we check another uh, product, uh, which may have a higher MOQ, that's, that's two, uh, let's have a look. Some have five, some have ten, uh, so this is two as well. The majority will be two or three. Let's go to another one. Okay, so this one's three. Let's say you have an order today, um, and then you wait in hope that another two will uh, will occur in the ne next day or two but what's what happens is I don't know maybe your marketing campaign doesn't do too well um, and you're waiting almost a week finally those orders do come through and you place an order your customers or the, the first customer that placed that order is already delayed a week uh, then of course there's the processing time on top um, as you can see, three to four business days. Uh, so if you if you pay via PayPal, it's going to be a further three to four business days if there's no issues. Then once we receive, we pack dispatch. That's the tracking's pushed to your Shopify store, and then your customer is going to receive the uh, order, uh, the dispatch confirmation. So they may contact you immediately and say, I ordered this you know, over a week ago, why is it taken almost two weeks to dispatch? So that's something you need to, you need to bear in mind. So, I mean, generally speaking, our platform isn't um, catered to low order volume, uh, although we can support it via this method I just mentioned. It's best that you do have at least five orders a day. Uh, per, per item that's what what we recommend but again you know this is one way of getting around it so if you if you did want to uh, you know reputable honest uh, fulfillment companies such as ourselves then and you don't want to use alternatives then just make sure that well, and keep that in mind that you can use us but there may be a delay in processing your orders if you have to wait uh, a few days for your orders to accumulate. So that's it. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to comment below. Um, and until next time, see you. Take care.